We say okay. fix the country. They say we should fix ourselves. Now, traditional rulers and their subjects are raising funds to fix their community. What is government fixing? Otunfo is looking at raising $10 million to renovating the Confanoche Teaching Hospital. Let's give it a, 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 a sauce and pepper clap to that. A new mouth, a waha, a gratitude for Mapa, and Branty, and a gang in a song. Yang in a was here and to one at the years. So, a new tinier friend. So, a tin, Menane, or Fanny, and who be a year, or he bought the foreign in our prince. Sicanon in here, one more would nipper a year. So, cement, I have got up, we have got to Oma for Nipanina. So, that's the care to be a And then each year I was here fifty years in a So, and and now, oh my, me see the bag, oh my, oh my, me hundred cities, my, oh my, China, my, so my, oh my, so my, oh 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 I think that's a good initiative. That, good that's work. that's really great. But <laughs> good with exclamation yeah, yeah, quotations yeah, by yeah, still yeah. But is this setting a good precedence? What is government's role in all of this? Why why not government is coming to renovate CAF because Otunfo has called them out? Yeah. That would have been yeah. a better headline for yeah. me. So, so government, so like in this bu uh, budget that has been read, uh, and we are taxes, governments to use something percent of taxes to renovate Confanoch Institution Hospital, and then it will trickle down to Kolibu, to trickle down to Ho, yeah. to trickle down to Tamale, because we are paying taxes. Yes. It shouldn't be me contributing 200 cities or 100 cities. It shouldn't be the citizens of the Ashanti Kingdom mm -hmm. contributing 200 cities or 100 cities. So yes, the call is a good one. That's of course when government is not doing it, we have to do it. But I would have preferred if it was the other way, where government Otunfo has called them out and they are going to fix it. Yes, I, I I agree with you totally to a large extent. I believe that the the people like Otunfo really have a larger voice. Their voice are louder than me and you sitting here. So if the powers that be who are supposed to make these things happening and not happen you, you should call them out i believe you should call them out and mm -hmm. not say that let's leave um mpp ndc yeah, out because uh, in the end the taxes are going to them and if you don't call them out the market woman out there if she calls them out. No the one is not going to listen. About <laughs> Even though it's a good call, yeah. I believe we should speak truth to power. It's very important that we speak truth to power. Yeah. Because if we, if we leave them to do what they do, then they will feel like, okay, it is okay that, yes... Um, we, we would not even do our bit with the taxes we collect and then expect that, oh, <laughs> traditional leaders would... If I know less, so he says that good is just as please tell us what you think about it. Oh, it's cont 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 <laughs> continuous. You yeah, know, to you. yes, and, uh, but 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 is this is this an indication that traditional leaders are losing hope in 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 governance and government as a whole? Is it is it in so? in this government yes because this call didn't happen in previous government this yeah. call has happened in this government i for one agree that um the teaching hospitals have been in bad shape mm -hmm. it didn't start from this government but they have not done anything to show that they are committed to either improving our health care 
health insurance didn't improve and that this government, even yeah. though it was their initiative, I actually was really hoping that since it was some it was one of their flagship yeah. initiatives, when they came, they would have done, they would have revived it. It didn't. It's actually going down, down, down the hill. <laughs> no new hospital has been built. Wait, didn't the president promise us that during COVID we we're going to do 101? Was it 101? Yeah, agenda 11. One. Still have it's one one one. Yeah, but you can one, build one one one, one, one hospitals in fourteen months. So you build <laughs> one every month. No, not one every. Month. So you are the mathematician. Divide fourteen by stop, one one one. Stop worrying me. <laughs> no, 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 not like this. Serious, <laughs> seriously. Divide one 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 by fourteen. They need to build like maybe eight. Oh, okay. So in seven years, they did not build one. But but they um, were hoping to build one from one. From this month going. Like it will be like build, this government. They will build about they, they eight be last every our month. government. You know, <laughs> last show, last show we go give <laughs> them. Like, <laughs> you know, you are yeah, with me. Yeah, no, but like that, what, what I'm saying is, so they, they they've not shown any commitment to the health, the health sector, mm. for us to for us to say um, there is hope. So yes, maybe the 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 disappointment or the losing hope. It's in this government mm. because Kolebu. So you should say he has lost hope. <laughs> Why can't he? Stop politicizing it. So Please. if it was an, an, another government, he, he, he wouldn't have been able to say. We will tell. Time will tell when another Ayo. government comes and yeah, he can say. So is it that is it that individuals should mm. stop paying? Taxes to no, the government. No, why are you taking my then... point from me? Don't take my point from me. Me, I said the call is a good call. Right. But it's a call that should be directed towards corporate Ghana. Okay. Because corporate Ghana contributes a lot of taxes to the government, mm. which should be doing what we are being asked to do, yeah. which is improve the livelihood of citizens in mm. this country. As usual, the, the, the story is we don't pay enough taxes. But corporate Ghana is paying their taxes. And we have huge, huge con businesses in this country mm. that are paying huge taxes because people are making huge profits. And the percentage, 25% of your profits, if your profit is a billion, a billion US dollars, it all goes to the government. I don't know if there's any company making a billion Ghana cities, but I'm sure people are making a lot of money. So they are contributing all this to the government so that they won't see calls like this coming in from individuals. Nah. But it's not being done. Mm. So corporate Ghana, hey, if you are listening, please go and donate $1 million, $10 million. Donate. Let's renovate a uh, 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 Nutrition Hospital. When we are done, Gachi, he to come and make a call. Let's seriously, we will build Ghana ourselves. If we leave it to the government, we won't build Ghana. When we are done, we'll move to Kolebu. The Gachi should also make a call. Let's renovate Kolebu. When we are done, we'll go to Tambale Teaching Hospital. When we are done, we'll go to Ho. Let's do it ourselves. Because if we keep giving the money to the government, it's not being done. We are not like accountability, no way. It's so not there. Can, can the traditional leaders and government work hand in hand? for a holistic development as, as a nation where we have traditional leaders using their influence, government also using the power that they have. And the resources and they have, have. added. And, and together, can't, can't this be a bigger or greater force than uh, leaders or chiefs and kings asking their subjects to contribute to development? So you saying that. We don't know what has happened in the back end, mm. probably this call has gone to the government and it's not being done. And we know, seriously, all the teaching hospitals have been crying, maintain us, maintain us, maintain us. We don't have enough machines. We people are dying. We don't have uh, everything. Do you know that this country, mm. Niku, it is individuals that have resourced the, uh, uh, the ICU for, for children, yeah. individuals, cancer. It is individuals, corporate Ghana, uh, kidney, corporate Ghana, individuals. So the, the taxes now you turn and cast an entire coin. That's that's a question. Sikano we here. Mister Kwes, Sikano we here. I'm telling you. Conversation. What cast our bread? What cast our bread like? But what do you think of this collaboration? Which collaboration? Traditional leaders and government. Col traditional leaders have their rule. The opinion leaders, they are custodians of culture and tradition. They should, they should do that. 
if there's anything traditional leaders can do to help, mm. is one, ensuring that government is on its toes, ensuring that citizens do what they are supposed to do as their responsibility, which is to pay taxes, which is to abide by the rules and uh, uh, what's the name? The rules and the laws of the country. If they have, if they want to solicit for funds, it should, it should be towards social stuff, social interventions. Like when the disaster happened in uh, the, the the Volta region, the chiefs galvanized. Yeah. If you have this, come and help because yeah. that's an emergency. Um, certain uh, certain individuals who have certain uh, chronic diseases, like we normally do, we come, we raise funds for those. We raise funds for charity. That's what you do. Yeah, not, not the core mandate or the core uh, uh, issue of development. That is the responsibility of government. So if government is shirking the responsibility year on year, their solution is not to throw your hands up in the air in despair and say, you know what, citizens, bring the little that you have earned after you, that has remained for your upkeep <laughs> and the upkeep for your, of your family after you've paid your direct and indirect taxes to come and do what government is supposed to use your taxes to do. Yeah. You see, I know someone will be sitting there and, and the, the person will pass the comments that we've passed the past two, de three decades. That says, oh, you know, we are a struggling nation. So, you know, government can't do it all. So we have to do some. Government, can, when can government do what government is supposed to do? And never there. When? Why are we a struggling country? Let's start the question from there. Why? You know, government... Last time we were here, we are talking about... Countries have built... They are nations in three decades. We have had democracy, democratically elected governance for three decades. This fourth republic is the, we are still saying we are a struggling nation. You let's accept. But now let's ask why. Yeah. Let's ask let's why. Let's Come and do the math for me and say, you know, this is the health budget. Out of all the budgets, this is what you are paying in taxes. This is what the Plenty loans we have collected in addition to the revenue the revenue we generate internally. There is one we have, in the debt restructuring yes, in the first place. We have apportioned it to all the needs. <laughs> pe, 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 pe. And when we go to Confanochi, money no day. So please you come and help us with 50 Ghana. Yeah. Then we understand. Yeah. But if that hasn't been done, yeah. We can't use the figment of our imagination to keep imagining that we are a struggling country. Don't we are not talking saying that go and build a hospital in Sefi We are not saying that build, go and build a, a polyclinic for some village somewhere. We are saying the one that when the clinics and the, the when the, the citizens have tried to sort themselves out in their locality and it's complicated. Where they, they come to they come and to. come and feel the effect of the state. The, the, you are saying people should contribute 200 Ghana cities to fix that one. He didn't say, he didn't say they should contribute 200 He said that. Said, well, no, he, said, said, he said, yes. Hand, uh, hand, no, uh, hand, uh, hand, uh, that's what I'm saying. Hand. He says that he's, the target, someone might say the target is huge. But he knows it is possible because mm. if every household mm. decides to even give him decides to give him hundred or two hundred cities a month, mm. it is possible. Mm. So he was saying that don't say that the no. money is huge, but we See, can do it. Look, my final thing on this thing is this. I I don't know. Otu, for you have influence. That's why I said I said it. Some people are disputing whether he's a paramount chief, whether he's a king, whether he's the king of Bunos or not, or dear, 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 dear. One thing, one thing is incontrovertible, and which is that he has influence. The point is this: when you are going to drive, like use that influence to drive a certain change, it has to power on. How on the pressure of inept, the ineptitude of government, the irresponsibility, the fact that we don't know whether we are going or we are coming, especially in the health sector, nothing is structured. This like infrastructure gap, 
call the boo is collapsing, it's a death trap, Confanoche is deplorable, there's La General Hospital has been uh, demolished, and then for five years, nothing has been done. It's just basa. And that is what you fix. That is what you use your influence to fix. Not going to say that after someone has paid their taxes, they should go and bring... Where do you think that? So, are we? What are we saying that after people pay their taxes, they still have disposable income sitting down in this harsh economy of inflation of fifty percent uh, uh, exchange rate of th this levels that people still have money just sitting there waiting for 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 economy government duty come and use it for government so duty. Oh. So let's not make blanket statements. We say, oh, you know, it's a struggling country. So, you know, they, everybody must help. Well, no Me, I, I, I think his call for... Nobody should come and call on government for anything. You, the road in your uh, neighborhood, <laughs> that has not been done. Everybody, everybody contribute should contribute 100 Ghana to 100 Ghana Ghana When we finish, it. when Doomsaw starts, everybody contribute 100 Ghana cities. Let's, let's fix it. When, when schools... Yeah, because that, that is like certain... Let's I mean, continue. It's a bad Let's just continue like that. Cause then what we do is we give government leeway. Because um, when even if they don't do, citizens will rise and... That is why I'm saying that. If citizens will rise and do, then the source, which is the money, because it's the same... Like, nobody has another pocket. It's the same pocket that we have. So if corporate Ghana is going to do this then they might as well reduce their taxes that they would have paid to government and, re re like, do you get it? Yeah. And redo it. Yeah. And then, by the time you see, we are building Ghana with or without a government. Yeah. Because if we keep giving them the money and the basket is, 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 is draining, it will keep draining. But if it is focused, it's focused. And there, that is the reason why the, the city FM uh, uh, um, drive, drive for the relief mm -hmm. for the... The dam spillage thing in the Volta region and the greater, like the regions, is like massive. Why? Because people know that there is account. Our biggest problem in this country is accountability. Right. I know that when I give my money to City FM or City TV, they would definitely be accountable for it. So you give it to Nadmo. Why would I give it to Nad Nadmo? Nadmo. <laughs> no. I can't be told. My brother. Yeah, I Last, I said this thing. I'll say it again. Before Rollins introduced VAT, we said we didn't, there was, we, we didn't have there was enough, enough money. money. Yeah. When VAT came, I think it was, I don't know what, what, what there was rate it started from. I, I wish I could yes. find that VAT. And Eku Vuado was the chief a year of it. Fighting that. Fighting VAT, no problem. When the VAT was increased to 17.5%, we said, still, there's no money. Now VAT is 21.5%. VAT is not still, 21, no. Yeah. There's no okay, VAT is 15 percent. Ah, but no problem. Potato, potato, <laughs> even worse. But yes, 15 uh, uh, five, 15 percent. Then there's compulsory constant levies that are passed on five percent. They've come to add one to it, so 1.5 percent. COVID levy. Ah, come to think of it, <laughs> if you are charging me for COVID, then COVID should be your solution, your economic solution, because I am paying for the COVID. But the COVID is still your excuse <laughs> for my poverty. <laughs> you have used the COVID to collect money from me. You are collecting money from me. Mm -hmm. Now, COVID is still your excuse for not doing what you have to do. Then, still, yeah, there's yeah. no money. Uh, Ghana, without our GDP without oil, there's no money. Our GDP with oil, there's, there's no, no money. money. When <laughs> would there be we money? We don't have money. When? <laughs> when? We don't have money. Yeah. But yet, it is the amount of money that ministers have in their homes that is increasing, per the increasing uh, rate of that. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not our, our, uh, our lot. Oh my yeah. God. Ah. Yeah. It is well. It, it is well. It is well. This is still... Jackpa. Yeah, this Jackpa. is well. This is still sauce and pepper. I believe the call by... It's more pepper than sauce. Is, ...is a good one, but shouldn't be the norm. And also, let's speak truth to power. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until then, we're out.